As October 1st approaches, the October 1st protesters are gearing up for the October 1st protest. Meanwhile, Inspector General Egberto Kuhn puts policemen on high alert to arrest miscreants during Nigerian 64th independence celebration. You all, we all know in the past that this government is not friendly at all to protesters. In fact, they treat, they give um, protesters the same treatment that they give to terrorists. They do not believe that people should come out to express their grievances towards the government. Before we delve right into the details of today's news, if this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe, like this video, also leave your opinions in the comment section below. Newsroom Nigeria reports that the Nigerian police force has directed all its formations to deploy covert operations to all nooks and crannies of the country to ensure that there is no protest during the Nigerian 64th Independence Anniversary celebrations on October 1st. A police wireless message Sarah reporters obtained on Thursday evening from the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Egbetokun, through the Nigerian Police Department of Operations to all AIG Zone 1 to 17, commands and units confirmed this. The signal with reference number CB mandated that all necessary measures should be taken to stop the planned nationwide protest by some unscrupulous elements during celebrations. According to IGP, all formations were ordered to continue to engage in meetings, dialogue with leaderships of identified groups to dissuade them from planned protests, particularly during the Independence Day celebrations. He wants that nothing untoward should be allowed, insisting that any attempt by miscreants or hoodlums to engage in destruc destruction of lives and property should be promptly resisted. According to message, the commissioners of police should direct officers, men, to be at red alert and should maintain well-kitted Standby men at command headquarters while area commands and divisional police headquarters to forestall any breakdown of law and order. The memo reads Nigerian 64th Independence Anniversary Celebrations planned nationwide strike by some unscrupulous elements in, in Jepo has ordered X. You continue to engage in meetings and dialogue with leadership of identified groups to dis dissuade them from the planned protests, deploy covert operatives to all nooks and crannies, your ex for intelligence gathering, sharing all necessary measures should be taken particularly during the Independence Day celebration to ensure that nothing untowards is allowed. Any attempts by miscreants or loans to engage in destruction of lives and property should be promptly resisted. Compo should direct officers, men, to be at red alert, maintain well kitted standby men at command headquarters, area commands, divisional police headquarters, to forestall any breakdown of law and order mode. Of law and order. Mode of dress, camouflage uniform with art tactical units to use ballistic helmets while personnel for covert operations. Other specialized sections should appear in their approved dress or uniform till stand down order is given, acknowledge receipts and ensure strict compliance Please, Sarah reporters earlier reported that the coalition of civic organizations asked workers and other pro-democracy Nigerians to join the forthcoming protests against bad governance 
slated to start on October 1st, 2024. In a joint statement obtained by Sarah reporters on Thursday, the civic groups maintain that Nigerians need to participate actively in the nationwide protest because of President Bola Tinubu's failure to address issues that pushed millions of citizens to hold the end bad governance protest in August. The statement was jointly signed by Azan Taiwo, Showeto, National Coordinator, Education Rights Campaign, Oloye Adegbuyega Adeniji, Chairman, Movement for Fundamental Change, Francis Nwakwa, National Secretary, Youth Rights Campaign, YRC, Abiodu Aremo, Secretary, Joint Action Front, Adebayo, ADDG, Member Leadership Council, Movement for African Emancipation, and Timitope Fagua, Co-Founder, Pan-African Consciousness Renaissance, Paco Nigerian. The groups added that President Tinobu's action in the last few days showed that his government was not ready to listen to the wailings and pains of Nigerians. You all, what are your thoughts? Let's have them in the comments section. What do you think about um, IGP Egbetoko asking policemen to be on red alerts, you know, in case of any miscrimes, because that is what they are describing these protesters as, as miscrimes and people who want to destroy government property and human life before we go guys let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online you know saint patrick patrick says as the ig continues to dance to the tune of our tyrant leaders one thing i wish to remind him is power is transient you should ask those who were there before him monday james says just hear what this idiot is talking from his anus till then. Hmm. Akirin Lola says, God that gave a batch of judgment, please, we need your intervention in Nigeria now. Holy Ghost. <laughs> Stanley Amen says, if the IGP is actually serious with this threat of clamp down on the October planned protest, they should dispatch 35,000 police to each state of the country and the FCT, since 35,000 police were used in September to rig election for APC in Edo State. Meanwhile, the actual truth is, if every citizen in Nigeria decides to come out to vote, there is no how the Nigerian police combined with the, the Nigerian army and every security outfit in the country can be able to withstand, you know, these people. Because the population of a country is even higher than the population of the security agencies that we have in the country. So if people cooperate, come out and, you know, protest, just that right now I feel that a lot of people it, it would even be afraid to come come out seeing the kind of treatment that was melted out to the end bad governance protest after the protest. That way, I feel like this protest, I don't even think it's going to be, it's going to even have any strong impact, let's be honest, because at the end of the day, people are running and protecting their own heads. Nobody wants to go to jail. You all, let me know what you all think in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.